Well, I think the main thing, the main feedback that I always receive from my clients is that I always make them feel better, uh, make them feel confident about themselves, and that this is just, you know, something that helps us make us feel good, but that's not the thing, only thing we need to make us feel good. Um, so, I just like to uplift others. Basically, it's a, an experience, a makeup experience, where I will provide all the essentials um, and you get to pick the look you want to learn and I will just go over step by step every single process that it takes to complete this look. So, um, you know, I'll bring all your, I'll bring all of the essentials and, you know, if you want to have beverages, snacks, um, and it's about a two hour class and you can bring your girlfriends, boyfriends, um, I do private parties, I do like bachelorette parties, uh, birthdays, um, really any occasion and you don't even need an occasion sometimes to do makeup, some people just like to do makeup. With skincare, I think that's should be the priority is taking care of your skin because when you have good skin it's really easier to apply your makeup and it's not as harsh if you're protecting that barrier because you're putting these products on your face and your skin is you know not really it's not meant to take on all these products but if you're protecting it then the application process is really easier um, and I like to talk about skincare a lot because it just it makes the makeup look more flawless of course, those rollers or the gua sha, you can use that, but I do use my hands because I feel like you can do a lot of magic with your hands. Um, I know people do have, you know, some skin issues to where they can't control maybe like their acne or if they have um, eczema, um, psoriasis, there's a lot of uh, skin issues that people have that they want to learn how to cover and they want to learn how to take care of. So um, it's all about research. And when it comes to the, the matching part, once you have taken care of the skin and you want to start learning your foundation, what works for you, it is it does depend on your skin type. So I, I like to tell people, you know, are you oily, are you dry? Um, if you're dry, you probably don't want to do powders, you probably want to stay away from matte finishes. Oily, you know, you want the matte finish, you want to try and use powders. Um, so it really just, I like to learn about your skin type first because that way it will help your makeup process easier. It'll make it more smooth on the skin. It's just about taking care of the skin first so that you make it look better. And then I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So this has actually discontinued. I literally get the very last one. It's the Estee Lauder Highlighter, the Bronze Goddess. So happy. Tip number one is prep. Tip number two. Prime. Tip number three. Set. Tip number four. I mean, hack one. Hack is um, bake before and after. So I like to do my powder before and your powder after, and your makeup will last all day. So I really enjoyed painting. Um, I was actually just telling you what I was learning how to paint because um, you know, I, I love the process of it. I think it's kind of like makeup. It's all artistry, but I enjoy painting. Um, I enjoy wine tasting. Um, and I enjoy walks with my dog. I'm a very boring person. Um, well, yeah, I did enjoy art as a child. Um, I enjoy colors and I just enjoy like an uh, empty canvas and creating something on, um, you know, peaceful, very artistic. I like just creating things that from start to finish. Um, so I, I think that is what got me into it. And then I just saw my mom wear makeup and I was just like, you know, I wanna look like that when I grow up, I wanna be like my mom. Um, so I think that's that too. My mom inspired the makeup in me too. Um, so because it's just me right now, um, I am willing to travel from the upstate, so like Greenville, Spartanburg, and all the way to the Midlands, which is, you know, Columbia area. And um, I can also do Charleston. Charleston's not far from me. So I would say from Spartanburg all the way to Charleston. So my website is coming soon, June 4th. 
my birthday. Um, whoop, whoop. That's why we're thinking to myself. And it's allabeauty.club, and you're gonna have all the information you need for this program. Um, I also do one-on-one -on -one consultations, so if you kind of don't want that class environment, you kind of want more of a private, intimate experience, I also do that. Um, so all that information is gonna be coming soon on the website, June 4th. Practice makes perfect practice, practice, practice. Um, I don't believe if you feel like you're not that good starting out, I feel like some people just have that, you know, that natural talent, like they're instantly just, you know, really good at it at first. But I have met so many makeup artists who are professional artists, like celebrity makeup artists. When they told me their stories, they were not good at all, but they didn't want to give up. They had the discipline and they kept going. They kept practicing on their family, their friends. Just finding that one person, or if you find a little face model, just finding something to practice on. Um, I don't, I would say if you practice on yourself, there's only so much you can learn because it is a different technique when you're doing makeup on somebody else. Um, doing makeup on yourself is completely different, but if you just have something else to work on and practice on, just don't give up. So one of the things that I'm trying to be an advocate for is more inclusivity, more diversity, um, more representation in all skin complexions because like I said earlier, makeup is universal. It's not just one shade, it's not just one gender. So we need to start learning how to apply on all these faces, all these beautiful faces, because uh, as an artist, you gotta learn how to use every single texture, every single complexion, because if you don't, uh, it's very limiting and it's not really artistry. So. Hey guys, welcome to the rack. It's Lauren here, and I'm just gonna show you my daily skincare and makeup routine. So what I'm gonna start with is this um, face serum. It's CeraVe Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. So I just put a little bit on my hands and then apply over my face. So next, I wanna go in with my under eye serum. I use the Ordinary. It has caffeine in it. So I put that under here on my eyelid and on my eyebrow bone and I like to take it out to the contour of your eye. I go in with another eye cream. This is Clinique. It's all about eyes. This is called Absolute Eye by Lancome and it kind of just like, it just like brightens up your eyes. Which is like, oops, I used the wrong fingers. Last but not least, you want to go in with your moisturizer. I use the Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost. I love this. It makes my skin feel really good. And I go. Okay, so after my skin's all prepped for my makeup, I like to go in with a primer. And I'm going to use the It primer. It's oil free, so it doesn't make you look like oily or greasy. And I just go around my corner big. I just use this e.l.f. It's a CC cream because I don't really like when my skin's too caked up. So I just put a little squirt on my hand and I just dot it everywhere. We're gonna go on with concealer and I use this Tarte um, clay stick. It's waterproof and light medium beige. So I just start by going a little bit under my eyes. So I'm just gonna go around to all my little problem areas. Okay, and then I go in with my fingers again. Take your ring finger for your under eye and just like dab it out. I make the weirdest faces when I do my makeup on. Uh, it works, I guess. I take the Hoola Mini Bronzer. I put it where you would put highlighter almost because once you blend it in, it spreads all around. I used to put it a little lower and it would always kind of drag my face down. So I put it there and I put it down the bridge of my nose and then I bring it down to the front and I put a little here and here. And now you blend. And then I go back in and if anything's looking too light, like I like to go under my eyes with bronzer and then I go on my chin and my forehead. I just hate when it's like uneven. And then extras, I just bring it down on my neck. So next, I like to do blush. So this is Freematic Blush from Ducci. I just messed it over. 
it. I'm not doing well. It's in the shade Daydream. And I like it because it's not too pink. It's more of a nude. Let me show you if I can open it. Oh my goodness. One eternity later. Okay, yeah. So it's more like a nude, but it still gives a little like dimension to your face. So I like to smile and put on the apple over your cheeks and just dab it out with your finger. Next, I like to do my highlight and I have this ColourPop highlight. It's really pigmented. It's in the color Flexitarian. So I like to put it right here, bring it up a little bit on the point of your nose. That is not good in picture. Ooh. Shine bright like a diamond. And then next, what I like to do is go in with my powder. I just use e.l.f. powder. It's a sheer tint finishing powder. I take the little thing they gave it with me. I know it's not the best to use, but I just dab it on here a couple times. And at first I take it under my eyes. That's where I'm most focused on that I don't want to be like very glowy. So I do like one side of my face first with that. And then I take it again and I do it on the other side. So when that's all done, I like to go in with my eyebrows. And I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil um, in the color blonde. So I just brush them up because I think that helps like show the problem areas. And then I go in and just like kind of fill it in. I don't do too much with my eyebrows. And then you, I use the spoolie to blend it out. Oh. And did I just break it? I sure did. Okay, and then I go in with this NYX brow glue and it holds it for literally as long as you could possibly need it to. I'm gonna use this Tarte. I don't know what it's called, but it's a good it's got a palette, looks like this. And I go in with Grace right here, just to kind of even out the eye color. Just put it all over my lid. And then I go in with like a bigger blending, blending brush and I go with Roll Model and I take a little tiny bit of Shake It Off and put it in the outer corner. You always wanna start with the darkest on the outside and then blend it inwards. And then I like to go in with role model and respect. So I start with going like this, back and forth and back and forth. And I just put that right next to it to kind of blend it in. I, I like to put my sparkles in the middle. And then I do encourage and speak up. Just go like that and put it. So you wanna start your darkest on the outside and increasingly get lighter when you go into the inner corner of your eye and then i like to go in with love right here and just put that at the corner and then blend everything together now and now my favorite part i like to do my eyelashes so i start off with this urban decay subversion um eyelash primer and it just makes your eyelashes look just like a lot longer it's gonna look like this but i promise it goes away so i'm gonna go in with their Real Magnet Benefit um, Mascara. Now just a little bit on the lower lashes so they don't look bare. Wow, mascara does legit everything. Okay, and then finally, I like to set it with this Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe ro robes, herbs, and frost water. Just go. I just inhaled it. That just like kind of gives you like a dewy look. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on The Rack.